Now recording. Okay, welcome everyone. This is an impromptu part two. It's not a Riley Radio Live because I'm not going to fucking stream it because I'm too lazy. It's a Riley's it's a, coming. Huh? It's an addendum. It's an addendum. We're doing the Dragon Ball movie tier list now. I got Mo here too, and this is also on Kick.com slash Mo Side Gaming. Hooray! Live. I am on kick like this. They Come are live. Me out. Yay, Come we have out. all sort we have all sorts of debates. It, it, it's fucking wonderful and funderful. I love it. Let's talk so about much. the debates that we have. Uh <laughs> let's let's uh, scoot right over. Uh Robin Violet Bay. Wow. <laughs> on trans too. day of visibility. <laughs> yes, the most holiest of holy days, <laughs> Riley. What the fuck? That's what, like the fifth time? God, My I'm, goodness. I'm so sorry. You so are a sorry. bad trans ally. It's, it's no hard. No wonder Dummy left. It's hard. It's hard, okay? Ew, gross. Don't tell us that. No, come on. That's gross. That's gross that you made that joke, Mo Diggity. Dis- <laughs> distasteful. <laughs> Alright, let's talk okay. about fucking Dragon Ball, huh? Dragon Ball dragon, movies dragon, and specials. Pop dragon, go. Go get me. Do you do? Sorry, that's like one of the worst fucking intros for like anime, I swear to god. What are your tiers? I'm gonna follow along so I can have a visual. Okay, the tiers, the tiers, the tiers. The tiers of a Dragon Ball fan. Is it Z, A, B, C, D and haven't seen, or is haven't seen F? Uh, well we can use F for terrible and haven't seen. I know, I think we could just use D for terrible and then just, uh, if you click an F, you can type and change its name. Just change that to haven't seen. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Are we going to go ahead and do haven't seen? Okay. As much, so as, D- as, much as I don't like cute tier names, we can keep Z tier instead of S tier. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I just fucking noticed that. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Okay. So, first movie on our list it's Brawly. Second coming. Uh, the second there, coming of Broly. This movie has charming aspects. There's reasons that I have a special place for it in my heart, but it's not a good movie. Uh, I, would say it's, I would say it's C tier is where I would put it. I would personally say D tier. Uh, uh, Paul says China number one, and then he hawks my kick uh, link in my kick chat. I I appreciate that. Yeah, the, so what a much. great advertisement. Yeah, you know, that like seems to be a meme, an ongoing meme with my community is that they hawk my shit in my shit, so it doesn't actually go anywhere, but at least they're hawking it, so, you know, I- I'm happy for that. Okay, uh, for so me, Broly's really second, second coming, coming... It might just be, some of it might be nostalgia, uh, but the movie does have a special place in my heart. Um, I think there's some really legitimately fun character content for... Uh, Gohan and Videl, as well as for Goten and Trunks. Um, and I just like seeing Broly, and I like seeing Broly do big fights. Um, and despite the plot being shitty, the fight with Broly is pretty cool in Second Coming. I don't think anybody denies that. Uh, the bros Kamehameha is like an iconic image. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, then I, I'll be okay with putting it in C tier then. There you go. Okay, let's go ahead and put it on the C even though I kind of think it's it. Now here's Bio Brawly. That which is one's fucking easier. stupid. <laughs> it, it's a stupid fucking movie. Why is this happening? I, I don't understand it. It's it's fucking dumb. I All almost right, want it, to put it in C tier just because it's like really funny in certain parts. But no, it's D tier. I'm sorry, like, Bio Broly. I have like I do not I have get like it. a I have like a the room style ironic love for Bio Broly, but <laughs> it's really bad. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I love how God! I love that movie so fucking much. The Room is like such. I've an actually amazing never seen The Room. Film. We're supposed to review that. We got to do that soon. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we gotta do that. I need to watch that movie again. I need that movie stuck into my veins, man. What do you say, Robin? As you crew movie reviews, MoCast takeover. Violet. Fuck. Oh, sorry. You were talking to me. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. What what were you asking? Uh, uh, issue crew movie reviews, Mocast takeover for a classic for film for the room. The room's good. Well, I mean, like, it? it's awful. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can commit to anything at the moment. Okay, I understand. 
I'm yeah. You're mad at me for dead naming you. I understand. Yeah, you know, you just really treat me like garbage. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I'm really just like, like dirt. It's horrible. I know. I know Violet is trolling me, but I feel so legitimately terrible and guilty right now. Guilty. It's just the the constant mistreatment I get is really disgusting. Honestly. Fuck, man. How dare you call it a troll? Mm mm mm. Okay. On Damn. Trans Day of Visibility. <laughs> <laughs> On this most holy day of holy days. This most holy Trans Day of Visibility. She is People risen. People are burning. Yes. <laughs> no, Zer is risen. Oh wait, I'm not allowed to correct you. You're kind of like a god to me right now. Is that like you're sort of like a Beerus level right now, and I'm just like barely Yamcha. Yeah, she's the most visible. You can't. She she sees oh, okay, all. Okay, okay. You will see her at all times, and she'll destroy uh, you yeah. if you step out of line. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. Then I'll just like rescind what I was just gonna say. Just pretend I didn't say anything. All right, Fusion Reborn. That's the next movie on the list. Uh, this movie is legitimately an S tier. Um, it's uh, one of the most iconic Dragon Ball Z films to me. Uh, Janemba is a great villain. Uh, we get some good Goku and Vegeta content um, and character stuff. And of course, the debut of Gogeta, the fusion. Yes, the fusion um, dance, and... which is really fucking awesome. I loved seeing that when I was a kid. There isn't like a, a dude. My, my age, that in their past they didn't try to perfect the fucking fusion technique dance. Uh, this movie also has uh, Goten and Trunks fighting Hitler. Yeah, for some reason or another, just movie. like the Nazis and Hitler just show up in Japan. And they're just like, alright, gonna go do... Well, like, yeah, in Fusion Reborn, the, in the Fusion Reborn, the plot is that, like, hell is, like, broken, and all the bad guys are getting loose. Like, like Gohan has to fight, like, Frieza and Cell. Like, the, the Earth is, like, flooded with all the inhabitants of hell. Uh, and, of course, one of those inhabitants is one Adolf Hitler. Uh, so he tries to take over the city, and Goten and Trunks show up and slap him around, because they're Super Saiyans. And he's a, just a tiny little man. Dude, what the fuck is Dragon Ball? <laughs> I, I stopped asking the, those questions a long time ago. There's just no point of even uh, asking. But Fusion of Born is an easy Z tier, I say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. A fucking awesome. I wish that they brought back uh, fucking Jenimba. Jenimba. Jemimba. Jemimba. He might still come J- back. Jamaica. They, Jamaica. They <laughs> They've been making iconic movie characters canon. That's been kind of a trend for, like, the last couple of Dragon Ball things. So there's still hope. Someday we could have Janemba for real. Yeah, because I like that bad guy. I thought he was fucking cool. Like, he really pushed Goku to his limits. Uh, uh, just as, like, you know, Fat Janemba. Uh, you know, I thought that was fucking cool. Yeah, Goku versus Fat Janemba is a really good fight. Yeah. It's really fun and creative. Okay. Uh, the next one is Wrath of the Dragon. Uh, I have this... no idea if I've ever seen this one or what. Oh, you don't know about Wrath of the Dragon? Which one is this? Do you remember uh, Tapion and Harutagarn? No. Okay, so you haven't seen this. Fuck. Uh, so Wrath of the Dragon is a Maybe film. Maybe not. Is a film. So I actually don't remember it super well because um, I've kind of only experienced it in segments. Uh, a lot of these... Here's a spoiler. Um, I didn't. I didn't admit this going in, um, but a lot of these movies uh, I actually have played as video games, not seen as movies. <laughs> um, and there, and there are some gaps. Uh, so I'm not super clear on Wrath of the Dragon, but the general idea is there's this guy named Tapion, and he's like a hero with a sword. He's got an ocarina, um, but he's got a monster sealed inside of him, um, and there's some bad stuff that happens, and this monster gets released. This monster called Harutagarn. I believe there's actually two monsters, but the, the only one of them was in the video game. Uh, it's, it's, it's this guy called Harutagarn, and he's an evil, stru- big bad guy. Um, and it's up to Goku, Goku to defeat him, because if he doesn't, who will? Which is what he says, that this is the iconic, this is what the Dragon Fist is from. Oh, really? Yeah, this is he he has to take down Harutagarn cuz nobody else can. He goes, if if I don't who will and he does the dragon fist and he kills them. 
All right, so since you've seen the movie, I'll leave it up to you to rank on this one, and I'll just, like, accept your judgment. Um, This one is kind of, it's lacking substance, but it has a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, I would say it's probably going to be lower on the A tier as we put more things in the A tier, but I'd say it definitely goes in the A tier. Alrighty then, we'll put it in the A tier. Alright, next up we have Battle of the Gods. This is the debut of Beerus and Goku Godform. Super, 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 duper saiyan. Oh my uh, god. So here's here's a kind of a spoiler going forward. Um, if you agree with me on this, Mel, which I think you do. Uh, the super movies are kind of unfair, besides Resurrection F, which we might rank low. I feel like Battle of Gods, Broly, and Superhero are definitely all S tier. Uh, where in S tier we'll figure out as we go along, but I think that's definitely true. Yeah, there's a ton of really cool stuff in Battle of the Gods that I really enjoyed, like uh, Vegeta being comedy relief, like his stupid little bingo tournament dance, I thought was cool because he's shitting oh, his yes. pants because Beerus is there. And I don't think he's ever actually formally met Beerus before, has he? Uh, he has when he was a child. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's okay. why he's afraid of him, because he remembers, because Beerus fucking just, like, made his father look like a bitch in front of him. All right. Uh, aren't, aren't the super movies kind of like the Madoka Magica movies? Uh, the super mo- the DB super movies are supposed to be canon to the series, uh, to the super series itself. Well, the Madoka Magica oh. movie, he's saying they're recaps of the show. It's the opposite, actually. The movies came first. Oh. And then when they started, when they started Dragon Ball Super, they did arcs about those movies before they started doing their own original content. Oh, okay, okay. Personally, I'm fine with just using Battle of the Gods and Resurrection F as, like, my my substitute for uh, the arcs that we got, because they went on way too fucking long. Let's not... We talked about that on the last one, but I just... uh, My my opinion on that was that uh, I think that Battle of Gods, the movie, is better, but Resurrection F, the arc, is better. That's what I think. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Speaking of Resurrection F, we have Resurrection F. Uh, hold on, we haven't we, we weren't done with Battle of Gods yet. Is it above oh. Fusion Reborn or not? Because I would argue Ooh. no. I would argue uh, no. No, I don't think so either. Even though I like Battle of the Gods a lot, Res- uh, Fusion Reborn's badass. Okay, so it's going to go below Fusion Reborn. Plus PyCon's in there. Resurrection no. F, I think, is... Uh, C tier, I might be willing to be talked up to B. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a bunch of cool stuff in there, so maybe it deserves B tier, but if there's other B tier movies, it's probably going to be bottom of the B tier list. That's what I think. That's fair enough. All right. Okay, next up is Broly. Broly is top of S tier, better than Fusion Reborn, better than Battle of Gods, easy um, top of S. Okay, I'm, I'm willing to say better than Battle of the Gods, but better than Fusion Reborn. Broly I is better than... That. Broly did go Gogeta better. There's no fucking way. It did Gogeta way better. Uh, I mean... This is the one that made Gogeta real, and he was blue, and the animation was fucking awesome, bro. Oh, I, God damn it. Yeah. Good. Uh, I kind of hate that shit. So sort of same, but in the other direction. I think that was... Just, did you answer that? What? Oh, no, you, you did answer that in my chat. Yeah, no, yeah, sort of the same, but in the other direction, yes. Okay, yeah, because we talked extensively about how good fucking Broly, the Broly movie is. You know, and uh, I, I think it does deserve its fucking top spot right now. Even though Fusory Born, that's... Uh, I get it, I get it. Not happy, but I get it. Okay. Now uh, we get the superhero, which we're going to argue superhero. about again. Well, well, hold last, on a second. Before, last night you did agree with anything, me that... Last night you, know. you did agree with me that Broly was better. You did You did agree to that. You agreed to those terms. I mean, I'll go ahead and give that to you, because I did agree. And I don't have enough right now to... A rescind that agreement. Superhero is a wonderful movie. I'm willing to put it above Fusion Reborn without hesitation. I just don't think it's as good as Broly. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll go ahead and let you have that one. Yeah, because it is a fucking spectacular movie, and I really enjoyed it a whole lot. Super Broly, by um, the way. I don't know if we specified that because we're also going to talk about regular Broly in a bit here. The first. Oh one. well, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to that. 
Curse of the Blood Rubies. I never think seen it's it. Dragon Ball. Never seen it. I have never seen this one, unfortunately. I've only seen one of the Dragon Ball movies. Spoiler alert. I've All seen right. two, but I remember nothing about one of them, so I couldn't talk to you about it. Sleeping Princess in the Devil's Castle. I've never seen this seen one. It. It's a Dragon Ball movie. We gotta watch the Dragon Ball movies. I think... So even though we're doing this tier list, we're not going super in-depth. So here's my pitch, Mo. I've been thinking about this bit, and I've been looking for somebody to do it with. And I think it's you, even though I know you, I make you do too many things. But I still think this is a good idea. So we can do this, like, bi-weekly or monthly or something. The, the wheel, the dragon wheel. And we put all the Dragon Ball movies, including all the shitty ones, including Dragon Ball Evolution, every Dragon Ball movie on a wheel. And we spin the wheel. And every two weeks or every month, we review that movie. All right. I I, I like that. I like that. The Dragon Wheel. Dragon Wheel. Okay. That'll be, that'll be an issue crew movie reviews thing. So stay tuned, folks, on the podcast platforms. All right. The and we, dead can, we can stream live tapings as well oh. on this channel if you'd like. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. That would be a lot of fucking fun. I'd enjoy the shit out of that. All right. The Dead Zone. I think I vaguely remember this one. So here's what Dead Zone is. Dead Zone is like a what if, but it's real. You know how there's like Dragon Ball what ifs on YouTube? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a trend about. where they talk about like, what if this happened instead of that? Dead Zone is a real what if that they made for the show where uh, Dead Zone is what if Goku wasn't a Saiyan? What if Saiyans weren't a thing? That's what Dead Zone is. Dead Zone is they take the Raditz arc. And they hit all the same, like, story beats for the characters, like Piccolo and Gohan and Krillin. Um, but Raditz is not involved, and Saiyans don't come up whatsoever. Instead, they fight this demon character named Garlic Jr. So it's like, appear into an alternate universe where Toriyama never thought of Saiyans, and Dragon Ball just kept being the show where these mystical earthlings with tails fought demons. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of, that's just, sounds silly. It's an interesting it's an interesting project and the animation is beautiful. Fucking stellar. Um All Garlic, right. Jr. Garlic Jr. is a somewhat memorable villain. Like he's he's become a somewhat staple in some of the weird side video games. He's he's kind of a cult favorite that Garlic Jr. He got his own arc in the anime too. Everybody hates it, but he got it. Uh it was no, a filler. I, I, I like it. Arc. I think I think I've seen that. I used to remember like what if what if Dragon Ball, but no Saiyans? I don't yeah, remember yeah. that so part it's, it's at all. It's different, because the Dragon Ball arc... So there's two... Garlic Jr. has two things. He has the Dead Zone movie, which is what I just described, where it's Goku and Piccolo teaming up to fight against a threat because they kidnapped Gohan. Um, but instead of Raditz, it's Garlic Jr., the Demon Man. Um, and then the Dragon Ball Z arc is a continuation, um, where after Gohan and Krillin return home from Namek... Garlic Jr. comes back, and they have to fight him again. And they they made a filler arc out of it for Dragon Ball Z. Now, I remember the filler arc. The filler arc was fucking cool. Yeah, in the movie, Goku and Piccolo fight him in basically the same way they fight Raditz in canon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, and I think the movie is animated beautifully. It's really well done. It's It's like... What if Dragon Ball never became Dragon Ball Z? And it's very interesting. It's like trying to nail the Dragon Ball aesthetic while, like, telling the origin story of Gohan still and, like, painting Piccolo in this, like, vaguely friendly light where he's willing to team up with Goku. It's an interesting project. I don't know why they did it this way, but it ended up being very good. Um, I would say it's not S-tier worthy, but I would say it's A-tier above Wrath of the Dragon would be where I'd put it. Really? Yeah, I think okay, Dead Zone right. was really good. All right, all right, all right. Oh, uh, I don't know if I've seen. I think maybe I've seen this a real long time ago, but I don't remember fuck all about it. Unfortunately, it's a really fun movie. I I would recommend it, and we'll watch it someday on the Wheel of Dragon. On the Wheel of Dragons, I'm getting a lag spike here for a second. Oops. Okay, I think I'm okay now, but that was that was kind of funny. My my internet, my ISP, I think, fucking sucks. 
Mystical Adventure. So I think I have seen this one, funnily enough. If this is the right movie, which I believe it is, it might be... It couldn't be Curse of the Blood Rubies or Sleeping Princess and Devil Castle. So that, this must be what it is. Unless it's Curse of the Blood Rubies and I'm stupid. Um, it was a weird movie where... I feel like... Can you Google Dragon Ball Mystical Adventure? Because I feel like it has to be like a spoof of a fairy tale. Because it's like... It's a weird retelling of the TN tournament arc from Dragon Ball... But for some reason, Chaozu is a prince, and Tien is like his ward. <laughs> okay, it's a third. It's the third alternate continuity Dragon Ball feature film. It was released uh, January ninth or uh, July 9th, nineteen eighty-eight. Blah 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 blah. Here's the plots. Another retelling of the Dragon Ball story. This time, young Goku and young Krillin are training with Master Roshi for a world's martial arts tournament. To be held in the curry of Mifan, the emperor of Mifan, Shaotsu, who's trying to find his lost Ron Ron, Min- Minister Master Shen. Uh, Master Shen has Emperor Pilaf work on a dragon radar, takes it from him, and is using it to relocate the Dragon Balls. Shen and his mercenary Tao claim. Uh, uh, Shen and mercenary Tao claim that they will use the wish from Shenron to locate Ronron, but they are actually planning, with Tien's help, to kill Chaozu and take over the country. General Blue announces that Ronron is being held in Shen's room and is killed by Tao for it. Bora and Upa have located the final Dragon Ball and they take it to uh, Mifan to use it to demand that Mifan soldiers. Uh, be forced to leave the land near Corin Tower. Bora is tricked into entering the tournament. The winner of the tournament will grant a winner wish by Chaozu and then is killed by Tao. Bulma, Oolong, Launch, and Pu- Puar, uh, Puar are looking for the other six Dragon Balls so Bulma can wish for a boyfriend. <laughs> God, that crazy Bulma. However, so, when the Dragon Balls are located, they accidentally dropped in the bottom of the moat surrounding Shaozu Castle. Tien realizes that he likes Shaozu too much and does not want to kill his friend. Instead, he blows away Shen. Then he gives Shaozu back Ron Ron, actually a porcelain doll, not a real girl, uh, telling him he had hidden her because of Shen and Tao. The story of Blue and Goku entering Penguin Village is included, but this time it is Tao and Goku that meet Ariel, and Goku kills Tao with Ariel's help. Goku throws the final ball ball into the moat and summons Shenron, whom Upa asked to resurrect Bora. So that's the plot. Yeah, so I have seen this movie. Um, just skim through the Wikipedia article and see if it's like a fairy tale spoof. No, it, it, it it is. It, it's a uh, it's another like the third alternate retelling, uh, in the uh, alternate uh uh timeline, uh Dragon Ball movie. Like in Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z or Super Rain. No, no, I'm saying I know, I know it's an alternate timeline. But what I'm asking is, uh, for some reason, they made Chaozu an emperor, which is not true in the show at all. And uh, the only it, reason I could assume that was true is because they're doing like a, like they're doing a parody of a fairy tale that exists about an emperor. Oh, okay, all right. So this is all I have right here. Uh, okay. Dragon Ball Mysterious Adventure is a 1988 Japanese anime fantasy martial arts adventure film and the third alternate continuity Dragon Ball feature film. It was released on uh, blah 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 at the Toei Manga Matsuri Film Festival as part of a quadruple quadruple feature along with Berkamon 2, uh, I can't read all these really. Uh, unlike the other That's two, okay. Mystical <laughs> Adventure does not introduce any original characters, but instead ad- adapts characters from the Red Ribbon Army and 22nd Martial Arts World Tournament story arcs from the manga into the film's original storyline. Uh, okay, so it's not based on anything. Okay, that answers my question, because it would have mentioned yeah. it. Um, it's so it's more or less like it, it does the stuff from the uh, the manga. It seems it sounds just so like strange. Like. But the the, the, the Chaozu's not an emperor in the manga though. It's just a weird decision that they made Chaozu an emperor and Tien a <laughs> treasoner trying to kill the emperor and then deciding not to. <laughs> but yeah, so I've seen this movie. Uh, this movie is weird and trippy, and I don't know why they made it. I'm gonna say it's 
Uh, it's not as bad as Bio Broly, but I'm going to say it's in C tier below Broly Second Coming. All right. Uh, th- I think this is a GT movie because it has GT Goku. So it's it not, like- actually. This is It was released around the time of GT, um, but what it is is it's actually a retelling movie of the original Dragon Ball. Um, and I've actually oh, no seen, shit. I, I've seen this one, and it's very good. All um, right, it is. It's it's very well animated. It's kind of like it's like a rushed like retelling of Dragon Ball from the beginning to the end of the Red Ribbon Army arc, uh, and it's it's very interesting, uh, and I really like it. It's a good film. Uh, I would rank it. I think it's the lowest in Z tier so far, but I think it deserves a place in Z tier. Fuck, I just haven't seen it, but we're going to go ahead and look through all these. So what I would like to do, I want to go ahead and just make this uh, thing right here. And then we watch all the Dragon Ball movies and then we re, uh, re, re, do, re, re, uh. Oh yeah, we're going to redo it after come we back. watch all the movies for sure. We're going to come back and. In like uh, a year and a half once we've watched all the movies. Okay. A Hero's Journey. I think this is a Dragon Ball does is it GT? It is it a GT graphic. film. This is okay. the Goku Jun- This is the Goku Junior movie. I've never seen it myself. I believe you have because we've talked about it. I don't know, um, but the Goku Junior shit is. I- I'm going to say this is just all of Goku Junior, even if some of it is a GT episode. I'm still unclear on that. Uh, so it's the story of Goku Junior. He goes on a quest for a Dragon Ball. We talked about this on the last one. But, oh, we uh, talked about this last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he goes on a quest for a Dragon Ball, meets the spirit of Goku, fights Vegeta Jr. in the World Martial Arts Tournament. Um, it's definitely, it, it's cute. And I like the message of, like, Goku's legacy going on infinitely. Where it's like, that Goku, Goku, even now that Goku is fully gone from the mortal realm, uh, this child has been born who just has kind of has the spirit of Goku guiding him and happens to look just like Goku. So it's like the legacy of Goku will always go on. I think it's a cute film. It's It, it doesn't have a lot of deep substance to it, um, but it's cute. It's fun. I like the message of Goku's legacy continuing forever. Um, I think it's B tier, but definitely solidly above Resurrection F. Okay. That'll be another movie we'll have to watch. Uh... Watch them all. The They're f- all going on the wheel. Even Evolution, which isn't on this tier list. Bardock, the father of Goku. All right. I believe I've seen this one a few times, and I really liked it because for some reason or another, I just I I, I like Bardock movies because I think they're like pretty good. They're pretty good or arcs and stuff. I don't know if I've seen. Is this the one, or maybe it's the other one where he uh. He kind of gets killed in the beginning, but it's like an entire time he's with the oh the fucking ones that have uh, instant transmission. Who taught Goku instant transmission? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, this movie is uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Then that might be the next one. This is the one where it's just the the whole retelling. It's the story of of everything where he. Uh, up he, up he, to where uh, fucking Frieza obliterates Planet Vegeta, right? Yes, yes. Okay, it's yeah. Story, it's the story of Bardock who gains clairvoyance after slaughtering a race of psychics, uh, envi- visions in the future that Frieza's going to destroy his planet, tries to cause an uprising, fails, confronts Frieza himself, and gets murdered easily. That is the story of Bardock. Okay, well, <laughs> if you fucking say it like that, it makes, it sound, it makes him sound like a fucking jobber. He is a jobber, but he was a jobber who had his say in pride above all else. He was not going to go down without fighting, even if that fight was not even possible to win. He was gonna, he was gonna go out swinging, and he fucking did. He he defied the odds to some extent. Frieza soldiers are pretty strong generally. Generally, one low class Saiyan probably would have trouble taking out as many Frieza soldiers as he did. So he fought tooth and nail to the end of his life, but in the end. Frieza had him outmatched, but right before he died, he saw the vision of his own son confronting Frieza in a final battle, and he was comforted in his final moments, knowing that maybe his son will avenge his death. All right, so great fucking movie, definitely a Z-tier movie. I think it's at least behind Fusion Reborn. 
Uh, it's definitely behind Fusion Reborn. I would say it's also behind Battle of Gods. I don't think it's above. I don't think it's behind Path to Power, though. I think it's above that. I think it's better than Battle of the Gods. You know what? You're probably right, actually. Now that I think, I think about so. it, I mean, Battle of the Gods is good, but it's. Uh, I think that the Bardock movie is a lot more fun because you see everyone like just naysaying him the entire time. You know, and he's trying to get everyone prepared because if they all were prepared, maybe they would have stood like a better shot or at least lasted longer. But it was just like it was tragic. So I I, I would say let's put it in front of Battle of the Gods, but behind Fusion Reborn. History of Trunks. uh, Obvious, the most obvious Z tier in the world. Uh, The special um, is, of course, the classic and I believe fully canon story. The origin of Future Trunks, where... Yeah, and that's where he gets his sword, right? No, he doesn't get his sword. Well, it will, uh, he kind of just has the sword. I don't think he gets it from anybody. Well, no, um, th- there's but... an origin story of, like, where Trunks gets the sword. That's in Wrath of the... That's in Wrath of the Dragon, actually, is what you're thinking of. Um, they they kind of do this nod to it bit with oh! Kid Trunks. Where, where it's Tapion gives Kid Trunks his sword in Wrath of the Dragon. Oh, oh, okay. All right. God damn. History, history of Trunks. Long. History of Trunks is the movie, the, the origin of future Trunks. It's the story of Gohan training him, then Gohan being killed by the androids, driving him to go Super Saiyan for the first oh. time. Yeah. All right. That, that movie. I think that might be above uh, Fusion Reborn then. I think it's above Fusion Reborn. Part of me even wants to put it above Superhero. I don't. I, I, I think it's uh, like. Mm, it's future no. Trunks' origin story, bro. It's so powerful. Yeah, all, all right, all right, all right. I, I can see that definitely. I can definitely see that. It's not above Broly, okay. though. Below Broly. Uh, okay. Uh, this is Dragon Ball. I don't have. This is the any episode idea. of Bardock. Uh, so this is. A strange, like, OVA that was in a Japanese film festival. I don't think it ever got adapted in America. Um, it actually might have... They might have dubbed it for Ultimate Tenkaichi, actually. Or they subbed it, at least. Uh, but it is a film where somehow, for some reason, in a way that is not explained in any logical manner at all, um, instead of killing him, Freeze's death ball sends Bardock back in time. Uh, and he finds himself in the past, um, in, on this, pl- on this, stra- he doesn't know he's in the past though. He just finds himself on a strange planet with these like purple frog people. Yeah. And yeah. Like, yeah. I, I remember this film. is happening. Um, and then he, f- he figures out he's in the past, uh, and he has to fight Frieza's ancestor chilled and he turns into a super Saiyan when he does that. Yeah, I think I I mostly remember what what's in there, but I just uh, don't remember. I like episode uh, of Bardock is just like fun because Bardock goes Super Saiyan. The plot makes no sense. It's all stupid, but it's like fun. I would put it in B tier below Resurrection F. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, or yeah, maybe cause... maybe C tier above Broly Second Coming. Do you think it should go in B or C? Uh. Well, they had some good stuff to it. I mean, there was nothing like that memorable. I think maybe top of the C tier would be fine. Okay. Because it, it's it's kind of forgettable, and I don't really remember too much of it. That's fair. All right. The plan to eradicate the Super Saiyans. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. Okay, so the plan to eradicate the Super Saiyans was a... Uh, So this is, like, a weird piece of media, because originally what it was was, like, a weird... It was, like, a video game on one of those, like, weird consoles that had, like, full motion video, like a Sega CD type of situation, um, where, like, you were playing an RPG game, but then there were animated cutscenes that that looked like the Dragon Ball Z anime. Um, And eventually, years later, once that game became very hard to come by... Um, to go with the release of Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, uh, they remade that game into, like, a little movie. Um, and that's what this is. And the plot <clears throat> is that 
Um, they're doing for some reason they decided to retell Tuffles. I guess like maybe they weren't satisfied with GT because I think this was post this. I guess I don't know if it was post GT or not. Maybe it wasn't. Um, but it is telling the story of a Tuffle, a Tuffle scientist. You know, the Tuffles are a race of super smart people who were uh, killed by the Saiyans in a big war. Um, and he creates this being called Harudagarn um, to, you know, destroy the Saiyans and exact his revenge on the Saiyans. Um, in fact, I think he turns himself into Harudagarn, actually. Um, and Harudagarn is this, like, evil creature with, like, energy power um, that seems so powerful that not even the combined Super Saiyan efforts of Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and Trunks, as well as the Super Namekian efforts of Piccolo, um, can stand up to him. Um, but they realize they find his weakness, and when they all strike him together, they eventually win the day. And that's plan to eradicate the Super Saiyans. It's kind of it's kind of by the numbers. It's a fun one, uh, but it's not particularly memorable for anything except it's like rarity and strange origin story um, for why it exists. Uh, I would say C tier below episode of Bardock. It's not really anything. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's better than these two right here. Than Broly's Second Coming and Mystical Adventure? I think so. Okay. All right. I don't know if I've ever seen this one, but, you know, it seems fun enough. All right. The World's Strongest. Now we're getting. It also to looks movies. nice. It's like really, it's like a high definition animated movie, and it looks really nice. So that it has that going for it. All right. We'll have to check that out. Uh, can That's going on the request- wheel. They're all going on the wheel, Mo. Every single movie. All right. Can we request a break? And then when we come back, we can finish off the rest. Sure. Because I, I, I think I'm going to go a little long on a few of these. Some of these. Are yeah, we are coming up on some pretty big ones. So, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I have yeah, to yeah. piss anyway. Yeah, I think actually all of them are like the absolute best of the best. So there's going to be A and Z fights big time. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a breaky wakeys here. And then when we come back, we shall uh continue on with the thingy and the thing. Be right back, folks. Oh, baby. Okay, this is good. <laughs> testing, testing. One, two, fish. Okay. Oop. God damn it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. We are we are back. Back, 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 back. We am back. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my God! Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I hope you're doing really, really well here. Having a lot of fun, by the way. We're having just such a great time. I'm not being sarcastic, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. No, I am like legit because I get to talk about these movies now. And I'm super, super stoked for that. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, you ready? Shall we begin? Sure. All right. The World's Strongest. This is absolutely uh, my third most favorite Dragon Ball movie. And wow, really? Yeah, because the world's strongest is really, really good, and I love the the fighting and the choreography that you were talking about this uh, on our uh, last night stream here on uh, kick.com forward slash moves that game. Uh, and uh, the, the choreography is on point. You get to see Goku really, really uh, fight with everything, with all of his training and all that, like, because he fights multiple opponents, like, a bunch of times in this uh, in this movie, and it's uh fucking done really really well. I think. Yeah, the fighting in this movie is pretty sick. The fighting's really sick. I think the story is kind of cool. Uh, it uh, uh, the, there's a. <clears throat> Sorry, I just took a drink. Um, I I I really did enjoy this movie thoroughly. Uh, it's uh. It definitely ranks up there. Uh, maybe, maybe a third favorite movie, mate. Because looking at it, like, well, maybe, maybe it might be like a little bit. I, I think maybe above bow, uh, Battle of the Gods, at the very Let's least. See. And Z. <clears throat> Let me think. 
I'd probably be willing to put it above Bardock as well. Bardock? Okay, okay, okay. Because uh, it is pretty fucking good. It, it's not as good as uh, one of the other uh, movies that's co- uh, that's coming out here. Uh, that's coming up here in just a, a couple of moments, I, I think. Well, probably about 10, 15 minutes, really. But, uh, yeah, this is the one I believe... I mean, I am looking at that right, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember now because they, they fight that giant fucking uh, uh, brain in a jar. And I thought that was the coolest fucking thing. Uh, yeah, the choreography is really on point, like I said. Not as not as good as... Uh, I, I think... I think Tree of Might might have a little bit better fights in there. That actually has... A, that's the next one, by the way. I can talk about both of them at the same time. Because, like, I watched these, like, uh, Toonami uh, would play uh, World's Strongest, Tree of Might, Lord Slug, and... I think that was it for, like, a while. But those were the movies that Toonami would play a lot, so... I got to really, really thoroughly enjoy the Dragon Ball Z movies a lot. Oh, a lot. Then the internet came along, and then we got to watch all the rest of them, like you know, like Lord Slug, Cooler's Revenge, and all that. But personally, uh, I would say that Tree of Might is not quite as good as World's Strongest. Hmm. Well. I think World's Strongest has a little bit more going for it. It has really inspired fight choreography. They're kind of, they're going for an original Dragon Ball vibe. And that seems to kind of always work out because it makes the movies feel like whimsical. Uh, <laughs> whimsical violence <laughs> is how I would describe the World's Strongest. And I think it's a very uh, strong work of art. Tree of Might is just like a cool Dragon Ball Z fight movie. Um, and I think it's worthy of Z's here, but I think it might even be lower than uh, Battle of Gods like being real yeah i mean kind of looking at it also i think it's i think it's a great great movie but maybe it's not quite z tier movie maybe it's a tier uh top of a i'd be willing that yeah that sounds about right actually yeah okay we'll go with that now sorry to ruin your childhood (laughs) no 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 it's it's fine i'm kind of looking at it and thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it uh lord slug that's the next one here. Uh, Lord Slug is is really, really cool. I don't necessarily think that's a Z-tier movie, though. Definitely A. But you had sort of like the teasings of the beginning of uh, Super Saiyan before the Frieza saga. So you kind of feel like uh, like Goku's on the path. And it's, it's really, really neat because I think Namekians make like the absolute best bad guys in this entire series, right? Like mm-hmm. the, like a good portion of the bad guys are Namekian. So that that throw that goes back. I mean, to it's that. Ju- it's really it's just two piccolos and a slug. I, I'd say the majority of bad guys are probably Saiyans in the grand scheme of things. Well, fuck you, all right. <laughs> I was just like you know, like on a roll, just talking about some Dragon Ball shit, and you're like, you um actually to me. I did so, um actually. You. All right, all right, all right. I, I think Lord Slug is definitely a tier. I think Would it's a tier. I think it's below Dead Zone, above Wrath of the Dragon. You think it's above Wrath of the Dragon? All right. Yeah. We'll go ahead and put it there then. I, I think that's pretty good because I don't think it's better than Dead Zone and not Tree of Might. Okay. Now we have Cooler's Revenge, uh, which is kind of weird because, like, this is another this like is, weird like, retelling. Per- like, it's they literally just like they're like. I what thought if- I, I, I not- thought cooler. I thought Cooler was canon. It was canon to the universe. Cooler's not canon. No, he's uh, not. Yeah, Cooler <laughs> is not real. Uh, cooler is a uh, is. Uh, all of the Dragon Ball Z movies are non-canon just for fun. Uh, so Cooler is... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, mm-hmm. But, so, the Cooler movie, it is telling a story that takes place after the Frieza saga, technically. Uh, Goku has already bested Frieza. 
but it's kind of retelling the Frieza arc. It's like, what if the Frieza arc was on Earth instead? That's what Cooler's Revenge is. Like, there's even, like, a rehash of Goku's original Super Saiyan transformation, even though he should already know how to go Super Saiyan by this point. He has this kind of... He has this moment where a, a bird dies because of Cooler's attacks, um, and he turns Super Saiyan and revives it with his pure Super Saiyan energy. Oh, All right. So where do you think your rank's on the list? Do you think it cracks Z? Do you think it's good in A? Or do you think it's kind of like meh, mid? I think it's weird. I think it has a lot of cool elements, but at the end of the day, it's kind of like... It's just a weird... It's an odd duck. Um, I would say it deserves A tier, but it's the lowest in A tier so far. All right, I'll go ahead and accept that then. Because Cooler's Revenge is kind of cool. I, I kind of like the I kind of like the return of Cooler a lot more uh, than I did for, uh, uh, Cooler's Revenge because yeah, that's kind like, of a bridge, though, right? Have you seen the original? Have you even seen uh, the original? I've seen the original a long time ago, but I, I did like I I do like the movie. It's got a bunch of mecha coolers and all that. Like I'm a sucker for like a robotic clone technology bad guy based bad guys. You know what I mean? That's fair. I I I I, I, I think... liked it. I liked it a lot. I think it's at least a tier and definitely above Cooler's Revenge to start with. For me, I would ar- for me I would argue that it does deserve a tier, but I think it is the lesser of the two Cooler movies in my opinion. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <clears throat> he kept kicking me in the dick. <laughs> Why? Why does he keep kicking me in the dick? <laughs> all right. And then we have Super Android 13, who has a TF hat. It's a TH hat that stands for trucker hat. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, canon, I, unfortunately, but <laughs> great. I, I really, I really, really liked this movie without the abridged version uh, of it, like by itself. It is really, really fucking cool. There's a bunch of really cool shots of like Super Android 13. And- the, the cool thing about Super Android 13, it was, it's kind of the first time in Dragon Ball we got to see like three Super Saiyans fighting together. Like, yeah, and them just getting their novel. asses fucking rocked. They do get their asses rocked, that's true. And so did Piccolo, unfortunately. I like the ending, though, because that's the one where it's just uh, Vegeta and Piccolo just chilling on a little ice flow in the middle of the ocean, right? Is the relationship the between Vegeta and Piccolo is underappreciated. Do you remember? It might be one of the most emotional moments in Dragon Ball. When Vegeta like asks Piccolo how the afterlife works, he's like, he. I, I think I think his words were, uh, "Will I see Kakarot when I die?" Um, and Piccolo was like, "No, because Kakarot's in heaven, or because Goku's in heaven, and you've done too many terrible things that can't be forgiven. So you're gonna go to hell." And Vegeta's like, "Yeah, I about figured that." It's like a really, it's a really emotional moment. It's kind of weird how the afterlife works in Dragon Ball. Like, because... uh, uh, If you're about to tell me that Vegeta doesn't deserve to go to hell, you're wrong. (laughs) No, no, no. Like, no, he deserves fully to go to fucking hell. But, um... Especially in that arc, when he just fucking nukes, like, about, like, 50 people in the fucking stands for absolutely no reason other than to just show Goku how evil he fucking is. That's true, he wasn't even really under mind control. He was just, like, his evil juices were hyped up. And he was just like, yeah, genocide real quick. <laughs> I was like, what you doing? Huh? Nothing, thwart my plans, thwart my plans? No, you ain't thwart my plans, are you? <laughs> But uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, but this is a fucking good movie. I enjoyed the bad guy. I like the androids. Vegeta, what I are you doing? The whole... Killing the fans? <laughs> Kill the fans? Kill the Kill fans? The fans? <laughs> are you? Uh, <laughs> uh, but um, oh, all right. So I, I really liked everyone in this movie. I thought it was cool. Uh, I like the androids uh, well enough, man. I thought the androids were really neat. I like the uh, the. The uh, the cool shots of I think it was didn't Vegeta kill one and Trunks killed the other one right? Ah uh, yes, uh, Vegeta get Vegeta gets a kill, Trunks gets a kill, and then yeah, obviously... and Trunks kill was arguably the coolest out of the two. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. And then obviously at the end, Goku kills Super Android thirteen. 
Yeah, with the fucking uh, absorption of the uh, spirit ball, a uh, spirit bomb, which I, I thought was really fucking cool. And that's another uh, thing that uh, I really liked about tr- uh, no, not Tree of Might, fucking World's Strongest, is because you see the evolution of the spirit bomb, right? And how uh, at the the ending, it was uh, it was sort of everyone's energy and everyone's uh, fucking uh, might. That propelled the spirit bomb because Goku, before he can fucking launch it, just got nuked from fucking orbit uh, by the fucking bad guy there. And uh, I thought that was like that was one of my favorite uh, uh, Dragon Ball movie fights. Sorry, you were going to say something. Yeah, this movie, uh, this movie has some flashy combat. It's very cool, um, but I would argue it lacks uh, it lacks substance as compared to. Uh, the rest of what we have in A tier, so I would say it's either bottom of A or top of B. Bottom of A or top of B? That's where I would say it would go. I think it's at least, like, way better than the cooler movies. Maybe we can debate on if it's better than Wrath the Dragon and Lord Slug. Okay. Th- I think the cooler movies kind of have more going for them, though. Like, there's more, there's more charm and artistry. There's more, like... I think Cooler is much more iconic of a character than any of the androids from this movie. Well, the androids are kind of... Uh, well, I, I guess maybe you got me on there. You got me there. I'd say maybe it's uh, a little bit less Cooler than Cooler's Revenge, but a little bit cooler than Return of Cooler. How about that? I'm willing... Yeah, that works. All right. And I got to say Cooler a lot, you know. You so. did get to say Cooler a lot. All right, next to last one, the last two that I think are just fucking bomb. Uh, the very first Broly movie, the OG one. There's no; these are both going in Z. The question is where. Yeah, that's, I'll yeah. say that. <laughs> uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh, all right. Well, now we gotta stop and think for a minute because we got these. Four I think right Z here. Broly. I think Z Broly is the best. Okay, so to be clear. Obviously, Broly and Superhero are super movies. Uh, History of Trunks is a special, which is different from a movie. Um, I think that Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, is the best official Dragon Ball Z movie. Um, I don't think it cracks Superhero, but I think it cracks Fusion Reborn. All right, I'll definitely give that to you. I'll definitely give that to you because that's, that's exactly what I want. Now we're kind of looking at three these three here. Let's ask the obvious question just in case we can't get past these two right here. Bro- these OG, two Broly, oh, 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 oh super uh, hero and history of trunks. So let me go ahead and ask this question first. Sure. OG Broly or Super Broly? Super Broly, Which and it's not even better? a question. Super Broly, and it's not even a question. Are you fucking for you real right now? Yes. You're honestly asking that you're saying that with a straight face. Compared to OG Broly and everything that fucking happened in that movie, the it, this movie you fucked want to up blind. the anime. You're... No, this movie fucked up the anime community. This they movie did. You're rocked. Right. This movie rocked. This movie was extremely influential, and this movie, for all of its for all of its amazing traits, its most amazing trait is that it inspired Dragon Ball Super Broly. Because mm. Dragon Ball Super Broly took the framework of Broly and got rid of all the shit that was stupid and didn't work and created a version of Broly that is now part of the franchise for real. All right, and so we're looking at the logical conclusion then to the, uh, almost the, uh, well, the next to last one. So it's o- uh, New School Broly, Top of Z, and o- OG Broly right behind New School Broly. Because that's I honestly, how I feel about it. I think History of Trunks and Superhero are also better than original Broly. You think so? Yes. I mean, God, I fucking love Superhero. I think it ranks up there, but I don't know, man. Like, because Broly, the, the legendary Super Saiyan, the very first Broly movie, uh, had just like uh, so much going with it. So many fucking recognizable shots. Like, dude, this is one of those characters where if you showed anyone anywhere, like, hey, who's this character? They'll fucking say Broly. I think they'll remember. I think they all remember. You know OG what? Broly. You've convinced me, actually. Yeah. So we're. I- I'm willing to put it second place, right below Super Broly. All right. Okay. 
All right. I, I like that so far. So now we have the last one. Bojack Unbound. This movie, I, uh, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's Z-ish. It's definitely a fucking iconic uh, Dragon Ball movie. Uh, it's definitely, it's heavily referenced a lot like the uh, the legendary Super Saiyan Broly movie is. Like, a lot. Because some, for some reason, other people like Bojack. And they love I think this uh, is a great Gohan. movie. I think its weakest element is Bojack. Um, I think Bojack is kind of a forgettable villain. He's kind of just like, oh, look, an evil guy. Like, there's not much to Bojack. Um, but the context around Bojack and Gohan having to rise to the occasion and be the protector of Earth against Bojack makes this movie, I think, one of the classics. I think it definitely goes in Z-tier, and it's definitely going up at least a couple points. Um, I think the first roadblock for me is World's Strongest. Do you think it's better than World's Strongest or worse? All right, first off, uh, uh, fucking Paul says PyCon Best Girl. And I, I, I can definitely agree to that. Yes, PyCon is best, gr- Pycon's best girl. PyCon's only in, Pycon's only in uh, <laughs> one of these movies, I believe, and that it's in Z tier, so we're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So He might be in Wrath of the Dragon, too. See, here's the thing about this, because I'm looking at this. I don't think it's better than World's Strongest. And I kind of like Bardock, the the father of Goku, this movie, a little bit more than I do like this movie. Because, like, you have the movie, I which is kind of good for a little bit, but then you get, like, really, you're just trying to get to the end of it. Because you want to see the cool stuff. I think they're both uh, masterworks in being uh, a main character piece, where the main character is, like, the focus. Um, and I think that I'm just more invested in Gohan than I am Bardock, which is why I want to put it above. Because they're both, I think they're both similar movies in that they're kind of a movie that centers around that, that like main focal character and kind of tells a story about like their development. Um, and I think Bojack does it a little bit better. All right. All right. I can go ahead and just, uh, lock this biatch in. Let's go ahead and go down here and uh, check out the rest of anything with Mr. Satan. Oh, fuck. Yeah, man. Hail Satan. (laughs) All right. So we haven't seen these two movies, Curse of the Blood Rubies or Sleeping Princess in the Devil's Castle. The only movie in the D tier uh, list is Bio Broly, which just sucks. (laughs) That fuck is so stupid. Honestly, uh, can I can I actually real quick because of how the list shaked out? I did mention that I do have a the room style ironic love for this movie. It is like a truly nostalgic piece for me. Can we can we give it? Can we put a little more respect on its name and put it at the bottom of C tier? Uh, uh, you know what? I'll give it to you. Okay. All right. I guess we'll also use this as like you know last minute. Uh, uh, fucking adjustments, just in case. So we have the C tier movie with uh, Bro- uh with a uh, uh, Bardock going back in time and not being Kansas anymore. That one weird uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, plant here. Oh, you're reading them in the Super Saiyans. Oh, never mind. Uh, you're doing it top to bottom. Yeah, yeah, oh, uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, from left to right in C tier. That one uh, Bardock movie where he goes back in time, plans to eradicate all Super Saiyans. Brawly the second cooming, uh, mystical adventure, and of course the latest entry into C, Bio Brawly. Do you there like the C's? All I do right. like the C's. And in B tier is a hero's legacy. The probably I think maybe the only GT movie on this list. Yeah, there's only one GT movie, and it's a oh hero's okay legacy. okay. And we have Resurrection F, like. As much as I keep thinking about it, I kind of want to just bump it down to C tier just to be a dick. But, you know, I guess we'll keep it at B tier because there's enough. There's good stuff. It, it introduces yeah. Super Saiyan Blue. I think that at least earns it B tier. No, Resurrection F? No, uh, fucking uh, Goku already had Blue. No, he didn't. He had Red against Beerus, but he didn't have Blue. No, no fucking way. No, fucking Maybe Goku. Maybe in Super 
Maybe in Super he gets it before Resurrection F, but Resurrection Oh, okay, F, okay, but we're talking F about and, movies. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Resurrection F and Battle of Gods both came out before Super, so Resurrection F oh, was okay. the introduction of Blue. So fucking Vegeta gets fucking credit. Yes. Uh, for they that and in, in the movie. Day, okay, yes. all right, all right, all right. Okay, Resurrection F for Frieza. That is the ZB tier. And then we get to the A tiers. We have Tree of Might, Dead Zone, Lord Slug, Wrath of the Dragon, Cooler's Revenge, Super Android 13, and Return of Cooler. Do you like ZAs? Uh, part of me wants to move Tree of Might down too. I think Dead Zone and Lord Slug might be better than Tree of Might. Uh, I, I disagree with you on the Lord Slug thing. Uh, Dead Zone, I think, I think it's kind of cool. I think Tree of Might, well... Dead Zone has more of that Dragon Ball whimsy, which I pre it's appropriate for a movie to me. Uh, the, any movie that has that kind of whimsical adventure vibe, I think, is going in the right direction, and I think Dead Zone does that well. Um, so I think uh, Tree of Might is great, but I think Dead Zone's a little bit better. All right, all right, all right. I, I, can, I can see that. I can see that. It, it kind of looks a little bit better right there anyway. All right. And now we got the Z one. The path to power. Battle of the Gods. Bardock, the father of Goku. Bojack Unbound. The world's strongest. Fusion Reborn. Dragon Ball Superhero. The history of Trunks. Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. And... New school Broly Dragon Ball Super Broly. Broly Broly Broly. Hell yeah. Now Mo, I have I have a pitch for you and let me know if you're ready to, to commit to this. Don't feel pressured, even though Arr. I'm saying this to you in public, uh in a ploy to pressure you. Um, so <laughs> I say right now I'll work on uh actually after okay. I turn my air conditioner on, I will <laughs> uh I will put together the wheel of dragon and I think on this stream we should spin it. And then on, like, Tuesday or Thursday or Wednesday, whichever of those three are better for you, we can review it. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to work Tuesday, then I'm off a Wednesday and Thursday. Do you want to do Wednesday, no, then? Hold, hold on a second. Let me, let me go ahead and check this out. Yeah, because I get a four-day weekend out of here, so I got that. Then I go back to work Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday would be my days off, so I can do it Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, uh, so we'll plan for Wednesday. Wednesday at 7 p.m. my time. Is that fine? That so seems six, fine. 6 p.m. Hardly. for you? All right. uh, yeah, I believe so, yes. Okay, let me... Put this wheel, or let me turn my fucking air conditioner on. I'll put my wheel to the side together. You should uh, turn on WoW or something. You should just chill a while on the Kick live stream. I don't think we need to go anywhere just yet. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead, and uh, we can take us a little quick mini break here, and then we'll come back and we'll play like a little bit of a. Uh... Oh, I don't know. Uh, what do we What do we got on the list here? Let's go ahead and check out something fun, but maybe. Maybe something sandboxy. That would be kind of fun. I'm thinking... I don't want to break out the controller right now, so fuck. Actually, I don't have enough ports to fucking even plug in my fucking controller. I don't. Fuck, I need a bigger fucking uh, USB 3.0 fucking script, uh, a strip. That's what I need. You know what? Fuck it. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can we can play some Plants vs Zombies or Slay the Spire or something. Let's let's see I'm where I'm down for Plants vs Zombies stream. That'd be a fun thing to talk over. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we'll come back from break. Then we'll play some Plants vs Zombies while you get your thing going. All right. Oh yeah, hell yeah. All right, everyone, go ahead and chill out for a moment. Fucking moment. Um, and I'm also going to end the podcast part because this is for the tier list. So <laughs> I should have done this earlier. Sorry about the kick politics, but goodbye, everybody.